This was a simple birdy flyer I designed in Pizzlelab and today I want to show you how to do the exact thing right here so without wasting much time let's just jump into it so we start from the default page and we have to delete this test after that we we'll probably change our background color apparently we're not going to make that much use of the background color so any color at all goes right so the first thing that we have to do after that is to import our first image so i'm going to leave a link in the video description for you to download all these resource files so you don't need to worry about anything good so i grab my you know my image over here and i have to you know increase the width and height to 100 percent like this after that i have to go ahead and change the color of it because literally i don't use this color so what i have to do is to go to the color filters and play with the hue and the saturation so let's see what we can do over here until we get a perfect uh, color that we want you know we still have to do it okay so yeah you just have to you know play around this till you are kind of okay right and that's the exact thing i'm doing right here so you just have to take your time and do this okay it's it may take you uh some time to you know arrive at a perfect color that you want but if you want to use the image just like that you can equally use it but personally i wouldn't like to use it that's why i'm doing this right now okay i'll just you know change the value to this one let's see uh let's say 180 then over here for the for the saturation let's limit it to a value like this and let's increase the contrast to let's say 72 and see what we are going to get okay so for the brightness let's put it at a normal value which is zero after that we can come and play with the saturation and see what we are going to get perfect i think we are on point now good i think 33 negative 33 it's the ideal value for us to use so in case you also want the exact thing you can copy this value the value for the hue is 180 that's positive 180 and that of saturation is negative 33 right so when it comes to the contrast is 73 and the brightness is zero okay so after this just make sure you position your shape well and lock it good so once you are done with this you go ahead and import a shape probably a square shape then you you know increase the size of fit to fit perfectly onto your working space good after this you can go ahead and make a duplicate of it by tapping on copy and go to texture right so i've downloaded one texture from the internet probably the link will be in the description as well okay so when you apply this texture to it you can just put it on the previous background like this and after that you go ahead and reduce the opacity of it just to make sure that it blends with the background okay i think two percent is okay so after this you go ahead and lock these two layers as well right so this is what you'll be having and at this point you can go ahead and start entering your details that you want to use in the design so probably i'll start with a person's image okay so for the person's image you can use any image at all you want to use so i've actually removed the background of the image and i'm having it let me see yeah right here so i'm just going to crop it a little bit and you know put it inside my working space oh yeah i think something like this won't be bad i think the image quality over here is not good so i'm going to change it right away so i just picked up another one over here 
probably I use photo room to remove the background of this one so it's cool right if you don't know how to remove background of images probably check out the video showing up at the top there so I think this one should give us a better quality because I use photo room application to remove the background and of course I'm going to crop it again a little bit and leave it here like this so what I'm going to do now is to import another shape again and give it a color that will match with the other ones over here. So I think I'll go with this color. And I have to, you know, make sure that what, it fits well over here. So watch me as I do this carefully. Okay. Good. I think this is okay. So I have to do it like this and, you know, bring it beneath the person's image just like this and after that i have to make sure that it's aligned perfectly such that the size of the shape uh, doesn't show so i think i have to lock the person's image then you know push this shape well and at this point i think we are good to go so what i'm going to do is to make a duplicate of this test and bring it down here just to make sure that it's in alignment with the previous one and reduce the size of it once i reduce the size i have to change the color to be like that of the person's dress okay i mean the shade that the person is putting on the color should be something like that so i'm going to change the color quickly and let's see so i'll actually pick the color from the person's shirt so let's do that quickly and I think this should be fine. Good. Good. I think we are on point now. So what we are going to do next is to enter probably the baby wishes and stuff like that. So let's quickly grab our test tool and see what we can do. So the first thing that we're going to do is happy birthday. So we just write the happy first and we have to change the color and we're going to use this color as well. So we are going to change the fonts and probably we we'll use one of those, you know, stylish fonts. So I think I'll go with um, photography signature, right? Oh, uh, it's not showing here. Okay, so I'll just type signature over here and see which fonts will show up. Okay, let me just go through and see. Okay, so we have photograph signature and I think it's cool to use it okay photograph signature not photography signature photograph signature so I have to increase the size of it and let's see how it's going to be after that I have to work on a padding so that the other part of the test can equally show good I think this is okay the next test that we're going to enter is baby but before that let's reduce the size of this test so that it doesn't enter the other side of the work so after this we go ahead and enter the next test probably baby okay so we make it capitalized and we change the color to i think black will be okay over here and what we have to do next is to change the font so i think a font like montserrat or poppins should be good for us so i think let me try poppins and see okay i'll use poppins bold for this one and of course i have to increase the size of it just a little bit and i think it's not bad over here so the next thing for me to do is to enter the main wishes so i'll just i just have i have a copy of it right so i'll just paste it over here and you know change the color of it to black as well and bring it down so i have to reduce the size of it way down like let's say 20 to 16 there about it should be between that range okay i think 19 is not bad it's cool it's cool over here so assuming you have a logo for uh, let's say an association that you want to use for this word you can equally go ahead and import the logo so i'm going to use that of pencil over here and reduce the size of it I like this 
I think it's okay. Then I'll push it down a little bit. And probably right under it, pencil K and USD. So yeah, let me do that quickly. So pencil K and USD, good. Make it capitalize and you change the color of it as well to black and put it under the logo. So I have to reduce the size of it obviously so that it fits perfectly at that point. So I think this is pretty much cool, right? The next thing I have to do is to enter some dotted lines over there. So what I'm going to do is to, you know, just enter this dot dot dot. Probably make a copy of it. Select all, then copy and paste. So that I don't have to, you know, be typing that thing for long. And I have to change the color to black probably reduce the size of it as well and I think this 19 should be okay for us so I have to you know push it to fit onto exactly what we want okay so we want it to be something like this and we have to make a duplicate of it and bring the duplicate down over here like this Good, at this point, I think we are pretty much cool with our design. The, the only thing that we have to do is to enter the person's name and probably his portfolio if there is any. So we make a duplicate of this test and we edit it to, let's say, the person's name. Uh, okay, I'm just going to enter the person's name right away. Okay, so I'll make it capitalize and this time around, I have to increase the size of the test and probably make it a little bit bold so I'll go to style and tap on bold okay and after that I have to position it you know nicely onto the shape we inserted over there okay so that is actually the purpose of the shape we inserted over there and of course if you want to change the color of it you can equally do that okay if you want to change the color let's say you want to use white or any other color you can equally do that but i think i i'll either go with this or black okay i think let's use this for the moment and go ahead and enter the portfolio if there's any okay so i'll just enter this over here and it will be best if you put it inside a bracket so let me let me just add a bracket to it just to you know differentiate it i think we are pretty much through with this tutorial now and yeah we have to reduce the size of it as well it shouldn't be competing with the other test over there so i think 16 should be okay for us good at this point we can save our flyer our body flyer and start distributing so you save it as ultra okay you save it as ultra i mean the quality you select ultra when saving it okay so that's going to be all for this tutorial if you want more birthday flyer tutorial then check out the video showing on your screen right now and this goes to here and i'm going to see you in my next video bless up mm -hmm.